All right. I uh, found out that my yellow blotch has a uh, shell rot, so this video will be a uh, a video about uh, treating shell rot. So, first of all, here's a. Uh, I don't know exactly what this one is. There, it's been getting bigger, and there's a. It's more like a hole. So that's kind of worrying. I don't know, and there's a lot of uh, shell issues. I don't, I don't know the camera if the camera is gonna pick it up, but there's a lot of uh, discoloration here and here along the uh, marginals, and uh, this and this is what happened when my uh, female stink pot bit her. It just kept on biting her. I don't know if it's going to get cured or not, so I'm just going to treat it as such. And a little discoloration here. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, and definitely show right here. And I'm going to have to... It's very squishy. Let me see if it smells. No smell, but it's definitely squishy. So I'm going to have to dig that out and treat it yeah overall shell feels firm very hard so that's good and she's eating good so besides that everything is fine she's healthy it's just that uh, this one looks kind of bad this one look at that it's very bad it's to to her meat area yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna treat her and uh, dry dock her so so first things first I'm gonna have to clean her okay so I'm gonna clean her with uh, I got a little portion of a soap dish and I'm gonna scrub her with her own brand new toothbrush. That's her name. There you go. And after that, after drying her, after uh, washing her and drying her, I'm gonna treat her with, uh, what is this, uh, iodine. The, uh, the shell rot area. So this is the iodine. Uh, that I got so let's wash her first okay so first I'm gonna I'm gonna put the soap dish all around Try not to rub it too hard, just firm. Try not to get the soap on her eyes. The purpose of the soap is Try to trying to clean all the debris from the shell before you apply the uh, the medication. Okay? okay, and when you wash her, rinse her, make sure you drip the water downward so that it's, the soap does not go to her face or unnecessary areas. Okay, you don't want to do it this way, not this way, this way. Okay, so now let's do the other side of the shell. This one, you could see it very well. It's, it was, it's getting bigger and bigger. And it's getting deeper, so that's a concern. Okay. 
Let's do the bottom part now. So after the soap, like I said, I'm gonna dry dock. Dry dock her. So what that means is keep her under a heat lamp, under a nice warm heat lamp so that her shell dries up completely. Uh, it's been recommended to dry dock about anywhere from 20 to 2 hours. So I'll just do it for about either 30 minutes. I'll check her like 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so. And I'll check her how she responds. And this area is very raw looking, so I'm gonna do it very gently. Just clean a little bit. This is the raw area right here. And right here. And this area right here is the area where there's a definite Definite uh, shell rot. It's spongy, very spongy, and kind of brown looking. I'm sure she's very stressed, very scared, stressed. A little shell rot right here, too. She came to me like this. It's not like, you know, uh, she got shell rot under my care uh, I already knew she had um, a lot of uh, shell issues but like I said this is something new I did not have I mean she did not have this the white spot when I first got her okay so now the soap cleaning is done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, towel dry her with a paper towel okay which I have it ready here okay get the excess water out before dry docking her okay that is the area of concern right there right there you see that it's pitted and it's squishy so I might have to take it out, take out the squishiness. The let me see with uh, my tweezers. Yeah. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. Okay, and this part is kind of red. See that? That's the meat part. And look at that. That looks painful. I think that looks painful. And so here she is. Started to dry dock. It's just a bucket. And uh, UVA, UVB light. And uh, I put a, a, a towel under her so that she doesn't get burned by the plastic. If it gets heated, it would probably burn her skin. So I made sure that the lamp is about 12 inches above her. I didn't want to make it too hot, too fast. So I'm going to put a thermometer here next to her to see what the temperature uh, gets to. Hopefully she feels more comfortable. And I'll leave her be for about 30 minutes or so. 20 to 30 minutes. Now, okay. After dry docking for about 30 minutes or so, she... She seems fairly dry. Ooh, she's shitting a lot. Get 
kita okay. see. I'm not gonna force it but it seems like uh, it's gonna shed a lot of uh, scoots here and there get that so let's treat the the rotting areas with iodine Let's see the underside um, this part I probably have to dig it up but maybe not today I don't want to st stress her out too much okay after applying some iodine dry doctor one more time all right okay it's been about 15 20 minutes since I applied the iodine medication and uh, <clears throat> it's a uh, dry and it looks wet, but it's dry. Okay, so let me see. And she, she's been dry docking all this time. Let me see if some of the scoot falls off. No, not quite. So again, make sure that the medication doesn't go on her face okay then just rubbing the medication off of her shell before it goes to the yeah she's pissed before uh, she goes to the uh, to the main tank main enclosure She's mad. She wants to bite me. She wants to bite me. <laughs> 